In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to perform motion tracking uh, for an object in the HitFilm 4 Express video editor. So in order to do motion tracking, the first thing you want to do is select your clip and turn it into a composite shot. So go ahead and hit the OK button. Once it's uh, turned into a composite shot, the next thing you want to do is uh, hit this arrow key and then go down to where it says tracks, hit the plus sign, or I should say click and then it gives you uh, your tracking point and you can see that it does the tracking in this red uh, square and this uh, with this red square and with this green square. The red square it, um, it is basically the portion that it, it's going to track and the green square is basically the area where it's going to track and so I'm gonna go ahead and choose maybe this flower for the motion tracking so go ahead I'm gonna zoom in and I'll drag it to my flower to make it bigger, go ahead pull um, on one of the um, ends of the square and to drag it you actually uh, go ahead and uh, give me a moment there you go so to drag it you actually go, uh, go ahead and uh, you know left click and hold this um, the, the bars, the red or green bar so I'm gonna go ahead and make it bigger and then uh, I'm gonna make the red square like you know the basically the shape of this yellow portion which is the um the you know the center of the flower and then the green portion we can make it moderately big like this it doesn't have to be like too big a little smaller is sometimes uh, good so that um if you move to your camera too quickly you can manually adjust it so after you've done this Go ahead and hit this arrow key over here, the left arrow key to track it forward. And if you are starting in the middle, you also have the option of tracking it backward and then going back to the first point and tracking it forward. But you know, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to go ahead and track it forward. And then you can see it, uh, go ahead, perform the tracking. Okay, it finished tracking. I'm going to zoom out a bit so you can see what it did. And basically, it fo followed the flower all the way until I lifted the camera up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can increase the zoom. And uh, drag this back about the center. Okay, and so at this point, after you've made the tracking, um, af after you've tracked where the flower went or the object went, the next thing you need to do is go ahead and make a new layer and make a point layer. Once you've made the point layer, go back to the tracker option or, you know, bar or whatever you want to call it, menu, and go down to where it says apply to layer. And then you, the layer that you want to apply the tracking to is the new point. So go ahead, hit the apply button. So once that's been applied, if I select the point layer and go, go to my viewer, you'll notice that all the points have been selected. And, is, and, and all the keyframing, the following of where the flower went has been uh, keyframed. As you can see, the positions have been keyframed. Now, the last thing you need to do is go ahead and add uh, text or whatever that you want to, uh, tr uh, you know, follow that flower, basically. So go ahead and bring the uh, trimmer or scrubber all the way to the beginning. You'll see that the flower starts in this position let's say I want some uh, text over here that follows the flower and I'll go ahead and say I don't know beautiful flower sure and then control A control X I'll go ahead to my text uh, option and then go ahead and make a new text uh, there I'm going to go ahead and paste that text in which says beautiful, um, beautiful flower, go to the text option. I want to make it a little bigger. Let's say maybe about this big, sure. I'll go ahead and drag this about the center. Honestly, it's already kind of centered. So something like this, okay? And then the next step um, would be to pair this text to uh, follow where the new uh, point um, goes. To do that, go ahead, select the um, you know this um, menu over here. Go ahead, select a new point. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and see that the text goes ahead and follows where the flower 
goes in the video clip and so that in my opinion that's pretty cool so that's all there is to um, you know tracking in the hit film um, express video editor uh, thanks for listening if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments below I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel bye